Hello guys, welcome back. So here in this session, once again, we'll talk about ASAP methodology or project phase. So now we'll talk about the first phase. Look at here, the first phase is project preparations. So first of all, we'll talk about project preparation. What happens here in this project preparation phase? So look at here guys, during this phase, the team goes through initial planning and preparations for this project. Certain activities are going to happen here in this phase. So now guys, generally what is happening? If you talk about the implementations, who is going to implement this entire SAP guys? Implementation means it consists of setting up the SAP server and apart from this configurations, right? multiple activities, multiple, uh, what do you say, uh, processes are going to be mapped here. Multiple processes are, uh, will be configured here, right? And who will configure these all things? Of course, SAP consultant, you people are going to do it, do it. Whoever the expert of SAP is there, right? Now, so what happened? SAP consultant will perform all these configurations and all. So, First of all, the first question is how many consultants are required to implement this entire SAP per Tata Motor, right? So the first question is here, that is team size. What should be the team size, right? To implement this SAP in Tata Motor, right? So here in first first phase, what is happening, guys? First of all, see, I'll tell you guys, for every project, a project manager will be hired. Okay? I told you guys that initial, in the sense, like in a very first session, I said that let's suppose this SAP implementations, okay, SAP implementations, project gone to IBM okay this project SAP is going to be implemented SAP will be implemented by IBM here in Tata Motor so what will happen guys of course first of all a project manager will be appointed from IBM right this project manager will be solely responsible to implement this SAP here in Tata Motor. Now, a project manager alone cannot implement this entire SAP here. Of course, there will be a team, right? There will be a team of consultant. So, what should be the team size? Who is going to decide this? Project manager, right? Team size and then team members right team size and team members i mean to say like let's suppose how many members 40 members are required in the sense the team side will size will be 40 then what about this 40 people of course they need those 40 members right so project manager is going to recruit those consultants okay mostly what happened guys within the organizations they'll be getting all this because there are multiple people uh, you know like in in every organizations what is happening guys in every organizations multiple projects are running right so now what is happening uh, say for example if if ibm is having ibm is having a team of let's suppose uh, IBM, IBM is having multiple uh, you know SAP projects right out of which <clears throat> say for example one or two projects like every project will be having certain uh, what to say contract will be there right so say for example for two projects or three projects the contract is expired right and that client moved 
on to uh, different like Infosys or TCS that project went to other companies right so in those project let's suppose there are total 200 consultants now they become jobless because the project gone to a different organizations and these 200 consultants are working on those three four projects so what about these 200 people what they are going to do guys right their profile so now they don't have any any activity to perform so i'll tell you guys see if, if let's suppose few project gone to a different organizations but still there will be certain project which is in uh, which which has like come to ibm in that this tata motor implementation is also there so again what is happening guys they will deploy from these 200 let's suppose 40 members or whichever like required consultants are there so those people are going to be deployed from here to this project tata motor project and likewise certain other projects also will be in pipeline so these people are going to be deployed over there so this is how what is happening guys rotations such kind of things will keep on like uh, again tata motor once the implementation is done then what about these 40 people they can switch to a different projects within ibm they will be having multiple projects right now so project manager first of all project manager has to decide how what should be the team size and then let's suppose if the team size means 40 members are required then those 40 members needed who these all 40 members like you know who uh, what about this 40 members right so those 40 members first of all he has to bring those 40 members the people who is going to implement this sap into tata model so these are the two things Sec then what next guys look at here project planning project planning means project manager has to plan first of all like if we talk about this implementations i told you guys in the previous session in the very previous session like that tata motor has given a deadline of eight months the project must be completed this entire implementation must be completed in eight months so eight months means what is happening guys now project manager has to plan okay so here total these many phases are there so how many days or months right is going you know is will be spent on this phase number one how many months will be spent here for phase number two right likewise third phase and fourth phase which is the final one right so this deadline right apart from this multiple other activities also will be there multiple other planning also will be there planning related to uh, multiple things guys planning related to like uh, project manager during implementations we have to we have to prepare several kind of documents blueprint documents are there right certain testing will happen so test documents are there configuration documents are there right so whichever documents whichever whichever document uh, whichever document prepared by consultant right what should be the nomenclature of those documents how people are going to keep like let's suppose if any blueprint document is let's suppose if any blueprint document is prepared so how people are going to keep the name that blueprint document will have certain name here right so that format will be decided by project manager so these all activities first of all project manager is going to plan right so this is called project planning right like multiple other activities are also is is going to be planned by project manager and these all things are going to be explained by project manager these all things will be explained by project manager that look at here guys uh, you know like this is what the deadline given by the client right and apart from this uh, all other like whatever terms and conditions are there that is going to be explained by project manager when look at here there will be an internal meeting that is called kick off meeting so during kick off meeting what is happening project manager is going to explain all the details see in a very simple way first phase means first of all 
team size and team member right this is what is going to be decided by project manager then project manager is also going to plan plan in the sense like certain things plan means how much time like in how many days first phase supposed to be completed in how many days second phase supposed to be completed right third phase what is the deadline for third phase finally like and multiple activity happen guys so for every activity certain deadlines are going to be decided by project manager apart from this as i said like document approval matrix let's suppose if the junior consultant is there first about junior junior consultant when junior consultant prepare a document that is approved by a senior consultant and then finally it is going to be approved by project manager right whatever documents are being prepared so what should be the name of this document so first of all they have to write like the project name underscore company code underscore document name right so certain what to say this one let's suppose blueprint right so client name then document name let's suppose then module name and then document name and then version okay so let's suppose look at here so in this format let's suppose every document name will be in this format say for example this is what is decided by project manager so these all things are going to be planned by project manager under this activity project planning and then finally what is happening guys let's suppose so if you talk about 40 member all 40 members let's suppose all the 40 member reached at client location so what happened then one internal meeting is going to be conducted by will be conducted by project manager one meeting will be conducted by project manager this is called internal meeting and we can say it's a kind of introductory meeting guys where like project manager is going to introduce first of all what is the nature of this project right then uh, first of all what is happening guys first of all every consultant because 40 people are there right everybody are coming from different different locations right i don't know who is the mm consultant who is this sd consultant who is the hr consultant likewise those people also don't know who is the fi consultant isn't it who is the other basis consultant who is the ABAP consultant so one introductory introductions meeting will this, this kickoff meeting will be there and here everybody is are going to introduce about themselves and then finally what is happening guys project manager is going to address and uh, project manager will explain the nature of this project expectation of the client the deadline given by the client right and whatever that and, and what deadline is decided by project manager for every pages isn't it i told like document approval matrix in the sense like who is going to if you talk about like documents and all who is going to prepare the documents who is the approver who is the final approver right what should be, what should be the nomenclature of the documents isn't it and multiple other things are going to be explained by project manager so these all things are going to be explained here under this meeting it is called kick off meeting okay kick off meeting now kick off meeting why, why the, the this name is there kick off meeting so i'll tell you guys after this kick off meeting itself the actual work will begin okay the actual work begin after this kick off meeting see kick off meeting means i'll tell you if you talk about kick off like you know football match right so how the match is going to be started how the match will be started i'll tell you guys there will be first of all toss will happen somebody is going to kick off the ball and the match begins right so likewise here this is internal meeting right and after this meeting what is happening guys the actual activities will be performed by consultant till now what is happening guys till now what we have done nothing these all internal discussions only has happened but these all people are gathered together 
for what? To implement this SAP for Tata Motor. Right? So, do we have any discussion with the Tata Motor employee? No. Uh, like, what about this configuration related activity? Is it started? No. What about the SAP server? Is it like the server is, is like uh, whether it is the setup or not? So, no, it is not set up. Nothing has happened. Till now, what is happening, guys? Its internal meeting is done. That's it. After that, what will happen, guys? The actual work will begin, and that is why it is called kick off meeting. Kick off meeting means internal internal meeting where uh, the consultants are going to introduce themselves, and project manager is going to explain all the terms and conditions of this project, right? The deadline which is given by the uh, client, and the deadline which is like for every phase wise whatever the deadline is decided by project manager these things will be explained here in this kickoff meeting okay so this is what is happening here in first phase 